by Wilco. This is a CBT guitar lesson for Justin. Justin, what a great pick, man. This memories with this song. Super cool. Got a John Lennon vibe. It is drop D tuning, so basically standard tuning, E A D G B E, but drop this a whole step, which makes it D A D G B E. Okay, so uh, that was section 1C that comes in in 30 seconds, very similar to what's going on with section 1, which um, goes like this. You're going to start with the open on the top. You're going to go 5, mute, 7, A, D, G. And then down up on the open up top again. So you have... Then we got... And you can experiment with fingering. Um, we need 5th fret, E, A. I'm going to go 3rd and 4th. Just feeling it that way now. And 4, G. Really pretty chords. That's kind of the idea... Um, it's a four chord progression. On this, we're doing E A to D G rest. Up, that's a down up, so rest, and then an up again on that. Then move it over to four four and two G. And now it's going to be down up down up. But you're going to go E and A together. Um, two G four A open D. So it's. Next one, 2E, open G, open uh, A, open D. Now live, he does a few different things. Um, from what the studio, which I used the studio one, but I used, there was three uh, live ones that I could look at for hand placement. But we're going to get to that in a second. It's something that takes place on this one, where he drops in an F sharp right here. Anyways, that's going to go four times from double dots, from the start of the double dots to the end, which puts you right back here. Oh, the last one I didn't show you. Open E, 7G, 5A, open D. It's a play on notes. Got all these D notes going on. Oops. Clever. And that's what makes it a little trickier to figure out. I know you said you were struggling with no one was doing it <clears throat> that sounded quite right, and that is why. So, four times of that. Uh, fourth time, no star. So the fourth time I'll go... Now we move on. Section 1B, 15 seconds in. Now there's multiple guitar parts in this song. I stuck to what the singer is playing. It's octave, 9, mute, 11, A, D, G. Four times staccato. And then hold it down and go down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, times two. Then move the octave over to two, mute, four, same strings. Go down, up, down, up, down, so. And then open mute two, up, down, up. Ah, make sure that D string's muted. Um, then right back to 9, but this time we go 9, open 11. He's got this little play with open strings ringing throughout chords and octaves. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. quickly to open four up down and then open open four and you'll jump way back up matter of fact on that open open four don't even sweat it if you just hit the open a in that not a big deal because we've got a long ways to travel once you get back up to nine open eleven down up down up down up down up down up down up down 
and I'm hearing this at the end. You don't have to do it, but I'm hearing at the end, let's take it from the one, two, three, four, fifth line down. So we have, let's do it again. I'm hearing a 10B added, so you'd have to do the octave with index and third to do it this way. Nine open 11, and then the 10B again. Such a minor thing, if you want to just keep in there, that's fine as well. Section 1C, 30 seconds in. Now this is a part you saw me intro with. Love this part, it's my favorite part here. 5-5 five, five on the EA, and then open 4, D and G. Do it twice, and it's down, up, down, up. Repeat that over 4-4 four, four and open 2. Actually, 4-4 four, four and 2 on the G. I don't think that open D is in there. I wasn't hearing it. So we have 2E and then 4D with an open G. Now, this is something I saw live, but I didn't hear on the studio. <clears throat> but it was a little tough to hear that little bit of a detail with everything that's in that song. Multiple guitar tracks. So you'll go. You have these two notes, which normally don't work together, and he makes them work. Open E, and then five open seven A D G twice. You go five times of that. Fifth time, no star. The star is just okay. So let's do. Let's say the fourth into the fifth. You have repeats at 48 seconds in of parts. Top of page three, section one D. Two open, two open, open, open. Love this too. It's on an accent when he comes in. There's like rest. Let me see. Yeah. And then four, four, two, 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 two. We're gonna have to borrow that with the index. Down, up, 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 down. it moves into the 135 timestamp which is repeats the only new part is two minutes and 44 seconds in 5e 5a open D and G as well as B and second fret high E it's a stretch so you're gonna have to lower your thumb probably at least middle neck listen to this chord it's awesome go down 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 up down up up down up twice so we have that change was just 9A, open D, and 11G, same exact strum. That'll go two times. No, no, that's uh, that's moving along there. We'll have. Okay, except don't slide up to it. That was a little mistake I made. Now, it's very easy to mute the D string and not realize it. Try to let that ring as well as I mute the low E with that we're doing downs and ups <clears throat> in the middle of this drum pattern and it's really hard to not overshoot the three strings that's why muting is so important i'm actually muting believe it or not everything except these two oops we need that open it's all about the angle of the finger coming in now i'm not saying you have to do that but i would definitely mute the low E if you can. As long as that doesn't get you in the way of leaving that open D string. Two 
259, we got a repeat of section 1C, four times, fourth time, no star, ending with a D2 chord at 3 minutes and 13 seconds. Open, 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 2, 3, open. That's it. That's the end of the song. Killer song from Wilco. I probably would have never remembered this song had you not requested this. So uh, appreciate you, Justin. Thanks so much, man.